beginning. So for our introduction, we have some problems where we're just combining uh, terms to create to create a new term. Uh, here is what our, our first type of series solutions will look like. Notice that this symbol, uh, it's a capital Greek letter epsilon, it represents summation or the addition of several terms. Uh, and we have an index at the bottom. This is, uh, tells you where to start. N equals zero is your starting point. And then you have your ending point at the top. So we have terms going from zero to infinity. And if you expanded this, uh, you'd start when, when N is zero and substitute zero for these n's to get c of zero x to the zero power and then add and increase this index by one. So now I've got one for n would give me c one x to the first and then again add and increase the index by one so now we have two give you c two x squared and just keep increasing the index so that we have all of these terms that extend on to infinity. We want to continue to infinity. So I'll use dot 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 to show that they continue on. Uh, notice that this is just a, a polynomial function and so what we're doing is we're coming up with a polynomial approximation of the of the solution. Uh, this first term is actually just a constant term because x to the 0 is 1 and so we just have a polynomial. And what we're going to do on, on this first question is we're going to substitute into this expression and then combine uh, our are two terms into a, a single summation. Uh, when we substitute in, we need to know how to find the derivative. And the derivative of a polynomial, of polynomial terms, you can find by just carrying down the exponent and then decreasing the exponents by one. So here, when I take my derivative, I'm going to bring down my exponent n that comes down and then decrease the exponent by 1. So my new exponent will be n minus 1. I'm going to substitute this into my uh, two terms. So notice that this is my y prime minus 6y. There's my y prime and here's my y and I've substituted into this expression. And now what I want to do is I want to combine these two summations into a single summation. And when I combine them, I want to make sure that, that first these powers of x are the same, x to the n, x to the n minus 1. I'm going to do a change of variable to get the same exponents. And second, I want to make sure that these summations start and end at the same point. And they do right now, but when we, when we change these, these powers of x, then you'll see that they, they don't match up. So let's work with our x's first. Uh, we're going to make it what's called a change of variable to make both of these exponents equal to k. So in this first summation I'm going to let k equal n minus 1 and then wherever I have an n I'm going to make that change. Notice that if k is n minus 1 then n is going to be k plus 1. So this will become k plus 1, this will become k plus 1 and n minus 1 is k and if n is 0, then k is going to start at negative 1. On this second summation, I'm going to let n equal k. 
and so each one of these ends would just get replaced with a K. Okay, so here I've made all those changes, and uh, and now I have these same powers of x, x to the k in both cases, but notice that my lower limits here, k equals negative 1 and k equals 0, are not the same. And so what I want to do is take my lower of the limits, the negative 1, and expand so that I can rewrite the remaining terms as a summation starting at, at 0. And that's what I did here. I took this negative first, k equals negative first term out. When k is equal to negative 1, notice that here you get negative 1 plus 1. That gives you your c to the 0. Uh, negative 1 plus 1 here gives you a 0. And then x to the negative first power. And all of this just becomes 0. And then I'm left with my 0 through infinity term. So notice that both of these terms together are equivalent to this term. This term says to do the summation starting when k is negative 1 going to infinity. Here's my negative 1, and here's my 0 to infinity. Okay, and when k is negative 1, this term drops out. Okay, so now with these two terms, I can combine my summations. I've got the same lower index, the same upper index. I have the same power of x. Okay, when I combine these into a single summation, Notice that I've taken the single summation out. That's this part here. And then I factored out my x to the k. That's this here. And the remaining terms are my c subscript k plus 1 times k plus 1. That's this. Minus 6 ck. Minus 6 ck. That's from my second term. And here I have this combined into a single summation. 